So, Isaiah Harris in lane three. Outside him, Eric Sawinski in four. Then Eric, Clayton Murphy in five, who goes off the quickest there in the black strip. Brandon Laster, who ran a PR back in uh, late May of 145.8, goes in lane six. But as they come across now, Clayton Murphy, look, running for the corner there, second to left now in the black strip. He doesn't head straight across. And also, if you run straight across to the curb, you've got a chance of being boxed. You don't want that. This is the first time we've seen Eric Swinski right now in fourth, not really charge hard for the lead. And you know, I know he's running against everybody here in the final that he has a lot of respect for, but really interesting to see the change in tactics. He's got a great finisher's kick. Is this what he wants to do? Is to be, you know, hanging back, letting Eric, I'm sorry, Isaiah Harris and Clayton Murphy sort of dictate this race. Alvarado leading then Murphy right up alongside him. They go through and it's slow, 54.53, very slow for men of this caliber. This playing into the hands of the really big kickers and Clayton Murphy fancies himself in this situation, sort of situation. Was he deceiving us yesterday in his semi when he didn't look particularly sharp? Isaiah Harris in third place in the slipstream of Clayton Murphy, the Olympic bronze medalist. Sawinski might like this sort of situation too. He's a very quick finisher. And Isaiah Harris there kicking hard into the bend. Tries to wrestle control back from... Look at that. You can see Clayton Murphy hold his hand up there as if to say, what do you think you're doing? You've stepped into my space. And that will anger Clayton Murphy. And he pushes past Isaiah Harris into the lead and kicks away. And that might have fired up Clayton Murphy to take the title. Sawinski is in third place. These three well away from the rest. Clayton Murphy's going to take the US title. He's back. That strength from a 353 miler stands him in good stead. There are Isaiah Harris in second place. It's Eric Sawinski battling third. And you can see the determination and satisfaction there from Clayton Murphy. Because Isaiah Harris stepped into his space. There is a rule about, and certainly a sort of etiquette rule, about how soon you can cut in on somebody when you get ahead of them. And if you're only a couple of inches ahead of them to their right, you cannot step into their space. You're going to cause a clash of somebody will go down. Murphy here, well, he's got the lead. Very aggressive move this from Isaiah Harris. He needed to go hard here to get around him. He was trying so hard, came in on him, and Clayton Murphy was right. He's saying, hey, what's going on? I woke him up, and that's what he needed to do. Clayton Murphy needed to be woken up in these championships to realize if he wants to regain his title, he needs to go. He ran those guys out a little bit of the outside of the first lane there, and that's why Sawinski couldn't go around. That won his race right there. Clayton Murphy, great job. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a slight exchange of views just there from yeah. Clayton Murphy to Isaiah Harris. Murphy probably more satisfied with that win than any win in his life so far because he had to really work hard.